Hello, welcome to the Spoon Fork Heart Kitchen. สวัสดีค่ะ My name is Jerry. Today I going to show you how to make a coffee jelly or some people might call a uh, coffee jello. For Thai people, we call this Wun Cafe. Before we get started, I would like to talk about a little bit the agar agar powder that we're gonna using today. Agar agar powder is similar to the gelatin, but it's different. They're a little bit firm more than the gelatin, and also they make it from plant. But some people might don't know agar agar powder and don't know where to find it. No worry, they have a inside Asia grocery store, and also you can find it online too. First, I gonna start the boil our coffee. For the coffee, just pick your favorite coffee, or you can make it strong that you like. So I'm gonna put the coffee inside the pot. Okay, and uh, I'm gonna add the agar agar powder. And now, just turn on the stove, and then uh, try to mix them. Until the all the aga aga is all dissolved. As the hour half and half into different part, because today we gonna do a two layer. So the second layer is gonna be a half and half. Or you can use a um, a creamer with the flavor that you like. So I put the half and half a water to thin it up a little bit, and then same thing the aga aga powder. Okay, and I turn on the stove too. I gonna now I gonna bring I gonna stir and I gonna bring this to be boil and let our aga aga dissolve. Okay, and now the our coffee is start boil and the agar agar is dissolved. And now I gonna add a little bit of vanilla to make it extra flavor for my coffee jelly. And also sugar. Same thing with the sugar. It depend how sweet that you like. You can add more or you can add less than this. And stir until the all the sugar dissolve. And for sweetness, for the half and half, I use the condensed milk. I'm just gonna add it all and stir them well until the uh, condensed milk and the half and half is uh, mixed well together. Now everything is finished boiling and uh, everything is dissolved. So now for make it easier, to, when you pour, I gonna turn for uh, to be the that cup, the same cup that we used earlier. And then for make sure you don't have any big chunk or some aga aga left over. So I I gonna use this thinner to make sure that everything goes smooth. Okay, I gonna do the same thing with our half and half too. And next, you're gonna have to get your mold and your container ready. So get some extra tray, big tray, and put the cold water into it, and get your mold ready. Whatever mold you like. And first, I'm gonna start to pour the the coffee one third into the bottom. Maybe about a quarter inch. And uh, this aga aga powder. They set very fast when the uh, when you put in the ice cold water like this. And now we're gonna have to wait a little bit before we put the next layer. And now when your aga aga the first layer is already firm, you can touch this. So now I'm gonna add second layer, but they have they all have to be warm so they can uh, stick together. You can add much you like, and when one layer firm, so you gonna keep to continue to put the neck layer. Keep doing this until you finish your coffee and your creamer. And now our coffee jelly is done. You can add your topping. Uh, 
with the whipped cream or the caramel syrup like I'm gonna do today. I love caramel, so I'm gonna put the, a little caramel syrup on the top. Ah, looks so pretty, and they're gonna be so yummy. I love how the caramel tastes. This will be a good dessert for you. Even gonna be better if you put inside the refrigerator. This is cold like the way. And good for your party when you put in the cup. Easy to serving. If you like this recipe, if you like the video, please give me a thumb up, subscribe, and you will see me for the next recipe. Thank you.